Good morning, Tim Riven. So for this, uh, for the day four of our laboratory, we will doing a quick, we will be doing a quick review of our CIDR home lab. So let's begin. So the question begins with design and implement an IPB4 address scheme for a call center using 10.00/8 and having 8,500 hosts. The goal is. Uh, you, you you design and configure so let's begin using Riven formulas C S I method okay so first we convert to bits second we subtract from slash 32 and finally we insert in the location all right so first off 8500 as we have discussed is 14 bits okay next step is we subtract the 14 bits with slash 32 the answer is slash 18 going further slash 18 we all know that that is in the third octet and if you analyze your finger it's at 64 i please check your answers if it's indeed in 64 i okay and the final solution is you have to say it you need to insert 64 i in the third octet got it so let's do this accenture's network address is 10 0 64.0 18 okay the not accenture address will be 10.0.128.0 slash 18. Now, in order to get this, we just need to add additional 64 in the third octet as ordered by the slash. So that's 1 to 8. Now, to get the first valid, we add 1. And to get the last valid, we subtract it with 1. So adding 1 on the first one makes this 0. That's zero. That's sixty-four dot one, and the last valid or the broadcast like one ten out oh, ten zero one two seven dot two five five. Okay, so making our valid range as ten zero one two seven dot two five four, and there is your answer. Okay, so the second part of the assignment is let's configure it. Okay. So in, in order to achieve this design, the design implementation, we will be using D1, A1, and P1 as our devices. All right, so let's begin. In D1, we will create a DHCP server, okay? First, um, we already have our own our VLAN, so we don't have to change anything. So it's going to be interface uh, VLAN 10. Let's name it Accenture. A little exit. Interface VLAN 10. Let's give this the first valid IP, which is this one. Okay. So we assign it there. IP address, then put in slash 18. Eighteen is one nine two. Oh, sorry, it's third octet. I think I remember. Yeah. So that would be the subnet mask. Okay. Going further, we need to make a excluded address. We don't normally give the first one hundred, so we do that. IP DHCP excluded dash address we don't give out this one and up to 100 okay then we make our pool ip the pool 
Accenture.com network. We might as well give this as a network. And obviously, we need to change this to zero because it's required for network address. Okay. The default dash router is the 64.1. We give it a domain name, Accenture.com. IP. Uh, DNS uh, name dash server let's give it any one eight, 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 eight. and if they have a DHCP ser uh, whatever server let's just give it a TFTP server of that A okay so that will be for D1 A1's role however is to uh, get the VLAN and use its port for the PC, so go to A1, type show CDP neighbors. We know that P1 is in E00, and that E00 has to be in VLAN 10. So what we do is we do this config D. Oh, sorry. We show VLAN brief. Check if it has the Accenture VLAN. Go config D, and E00. Switch port access. Switch port mode access. Switch port access VLAN 10. You press end and show VLAN brief. And the final step is P1. We go to P1 and type config T int E00 IP address DHCP. Do we do a no shot? And we check the IP. Do show IP int brief pipe exclude unassigned. Okay? So let's get that started. So this is our computation and let's try to implement this. So let's go to D1. Here we go. Right click. Okay. So it doesn't want the option IP150. So we may not need this here. Okay. One more time. Okay, good job. Let's go to A1. We check if Accenture is there. There's Accenture. Good job. Now we move we move the VLAN off that port to VLAN 10. Let's go. Good. And the last step is go to P1. And see if P1 gets an IP address from Accenture okay so wait up me a few seconds wait up some more so if everything goes well we will get 64 101 since we are not giving away the first 100 okay if we go to a2 let's see if it already has the VLAN show VLAN brief Yes, and the port is E10 for P2. So we go to P2 in E10 IP at DHCP. Type a no shot. And wait a few seconds to show IP in brief. Oh, sorry. That's a lot. We have to exclude all unassigned. And we have 102. And since they are on the same VLAN, they should be able to ping each other without any routing in place. Oh, they're pinging. So that is your first exercise. Now, your job, students, is you have to do task number two. What is task number two? Design and implement a network for telus.com using the gigantic 10.0.0 slash 8 but with only let's keep it smaller now with only 750 hosts not 4,000 not 8,000 but only 750 hosts okay so 
basing from our experience it's gonna be CSI again okay so I will be expecting the answers for this mm, in, in two days so in the meantime just post your messages if you have any questions and good luck with your lab thank you